Well done! You've completed the basics of uh, HTML. We've gone through most of the uh, most relevant tags. And we just have a, a couple more items left before we jump into CSS. Using HTML and CSS, we'll be able to um, get this um, dashboard homepage, um, metro kind of thing, up and running. And just a couple more things that we'll be going through when it comes to HTML. I want to show you the main structure of a HTML file. So far, we've just um, coded straight on the on the text file, but there's usually a, a more formal way of, of, of doing this. And then I want to build this entire thing using only H HTML before we jump into CSS. So it'll just look like an ugly listing of elements, and then when we get into CSS you'll um, see how we can uh, work from there and, and giving the elements more of the, the, out, the, the look that they should have. Um, so the first thing I mentioned, the, the more uh, formal way of having a HTML file. Um, HTML files usually have um, two main parts. They have a head and they have a body. The head contains information about the page it's not information that you'll see on the web browser. You'll see the title, you'll see it on the top. So see how I'm adding the, the title uh, in here inside of head. So actually this should be like this, just so that it looks more organized. Um, the title is what you see on top of your tab or, or your web browser when you're on that page. And then uh, the other thing that I'm defining is the, the character set. You don't really need to understand this, but this basically is what it says is that um, it's using a, it's using a certain using a certain convention for for text, and if you're just typing in English, it won't matter. But if you add characters from other languages and you don't have this defined, you'll see them uh, not displaying properly. So you need to have this to have all the um, characters from other languages as well. And well, this is how you start your document. It, this just tells. Um, um, whatever program that opens this document, it tells it that it will be a um, HTML type of file following the latest um, HTML5 um, rules. You always begin by having a global, like a, a main sort of HTML tag, so everything that you do is inside, of, inside here. And then the body is what we've been doing all along. The body is what's shown on the actual page. So we started by creating H1 titles, right? and all of the other um, things that we did, that all goes in here. We didn't do it and the browser is smart enough to know what we were trying to do, but uh, when you get to your, the actual real page, uh, it's better if you keep on this um, structure and put all of your um, actual page content inside of uh, body, 